In this second part of the Beginner's Guide to Working with Evernote, we're going to talk about notes. Hello and welcome to this second part of my beginner's guide to Evernote. And in this episode, it's all about creating notes because essentially that's what Evernote is all about, capturing your notes. Now I'm doing this in two parts today. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with the desktop because that's the easiest to show and I can show you all the additional things that you can do with a note easier from the desktop because we have a bigger screen. But I'm also going to show you how to do this on the mobile device and that's simply because on a mobile device that's the most likely place that you're going to be capturing your notes. And Evernote has a little secret under the hood that if you're not aware of will blow you away when you discover it. So one other thing before we get into this, I use an iPhone 10, and that means that my, my user interface on my iPhone is likely to look different from the Evernote on Android and indeed Windows Mobile. But essentially the functionality is the same. And one more thing for those of you guys who do use the iPhone, I strongly recommend that you set up the share sheet on Evernote because that is a powerful little tool. Okay, let's get straight into the Evernote, my Evernote, and I'll show you how to set your notes up. Okay, so how do we get notes into our Evernote account? Well, actually, it's really quite simple. You can actually use a keyboard shortcut, so Command N would create a new note, as you can see, just like that. Uh, and Todoist is uh, sorry, Todoist. Evernote is actually giving you some ideas here because I've set this up as a brand new account, and so you can see all sorts of things going on on my computer. Now I'm in the full screen mode here, so let's just say that I've got a, a nice little. <laughs> So this is this will disappear after a while, don't worry. But what we've got here, and let's just say uh, thoughts. Now I'm going to title that thoughts, and then I can just start. So this is a new episode of Beginner's Guide. And that's really, I can't even spell today. Um, never can spell on a Saturday. Beginner's Guide. So that's simple how you can just create a note. So I've got thoughts. Now this, let's just say that we've got this note set up. Now I have this note set up in a full screen view as you can see here. Now there's a couple of things you can do with the note. I would just, one of my favorite features is just to double click on the note and it will bring up a full screen version. This is if you really want to get yourself focused in and you can go even more uh, a level by going on to that function. And now I'm just complete screen. So if you want to go full screen on your laptop, for example, that's a really good trick that you can use. Now, again, I'm using this on a Mac. Again, I've got this one set up. Uh, so my Evernote is here, but this is now on its own screen. So there's a really cool way that you can do things. Now, there are other things that you can do. So I'm just going to go into my trash here because I know I've got a, a logo that I was using earlier. So I've got the Todoist logo here. And let's just say that I was developing a specific beginner's guide on Todoist. What I can do is I can drag this and I can just dump that into there. Now, when I've got an image in there, I can resize the image like that. And I can just set that up so I can have it on its own line. And I can just carry on. And this is one of those cool ways that you can just add in. So this is the let's see spelling again. This is the Todoist logo. And you can just add and correct add notes in here. Now other things that you can do. Let's say for example, I'm into I'm in uh, a uh, a web version here. So let's just go into. I don't know, let's go to the BBC and I want to say, for example, get a news item that I saw. So this is about the destruction in from Hurricane Michael. So I can just copy the link. So Command L and Command C, go back to my uh, Evernote and I can just oops, go into there and I can just Command V and I can put the link in there. Now, one of the beauties of that is that's now clickable so I can get straight to that web page as and when I want. 
and there are so many other things that you can do now there are a lot of functions up here so I can change the text size if I wish so let's just say I want to make that a bigger size so I'm going to make that to 64 that's a bit too big so we'll move that down to say 36 and I can bold it I can underline it sorry italicize it I can underline it I can change the color because uh, it brings up my color picker so let's go into green actually no to do it is red isn't it so let's go to red so I'm going to make that one red it needs to be a bit of a better red than that and I can actually use my color picker here and I can just get to the, the real to do is red um, so there's all sorts of like little things that I can actually do and more importantly I can also create as I go along here let's say for example this I can actually highlight that and I can highlight it and use it like a what's a marker a highlighter I can uh, put in snippets of code if I wish which I don't know any code so I'm not going to do that and also I can do down here I've I can create a bullet pointed list so point uh, one point two etc and I can also create uh, num numbers so number one <laughs> number number so you can see and I'll also I can create little check marks so I can create task one task two etc and they are you can actually use them you can click them off like that so there's all sorts of like little things that you can actually do going further on if I wanted to I can actually put a line marker in here so I can put a line so now I've got a, a dividing line I can change the I can make that center you can do all sorts of things there now one of the other things that you can do is you can create you can actually input a table now I'm not going to do that right now simply because tables are a bit more complex and I will come into those in a future episode I can add a voice note but just the problem with adding voice notes is it obviously takes up a lot of your space I can add an image from here and there's various other things that I can do I can add you can go from here and I can actually link my Google Drive directly to uh, my Evernote so there's so many things that you can do within a simple note within Evernote which is one of the reasons why every time I've looked at competitors to Evernote not one of them comes anywhere near the functionality that Evernote has a lot of it is hidden and many people seem to forget about some of this functionality that that Evernote does have but it is just an amazing application the 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 functionality and the and the features tends to disappear in the background and it is very easy to forget they are there but when you go through them it reminds you of some of the amazing things that you can do within a note and this is one of the reasons why I've never shifted from Evernote now there's various other things that you can do but one thing before we do move on I want to show you how to capture notes into your mobile device before I finish this episode but one thing that I really want to show you is this is actually in my inbox and if you remember from last week we created a number of uh, notebooks what you can do is there's several ways you can do it you can do it from up here I can click on here and I can move that to my work personal holiday plans for example I can do it that way uh, I can add tags but we're going to do tags in a separate episode but the fastest way from your desktop is quite simply is just to pick it up and drag it and drop it into your work folder so if I go back here that's now in my work notebook and if I think now nah, I don't want it there I'm going to move it back to my inbox and just click on there goes back into my inbox and there it is that's a really cool way now before we finish this episode I really want to show you how to do this uh, how to collect notes on your mobile device because to be fair I think that is going to be the number one way of you collecting note collecting notes so let's have a look how this would work on a mobile device okay so here I am with my iPhone and let's just open up Evernote now I'm using my main account here so my Evernote uh, is already set up this is not my demo account so there is a lot of stuff in here but the key part of all this for when you're with Evernote is that big green button at the bottom of your screen now if you click that one time that's going to go straight into opening up a note and you can just start typing you can add the title later because if you tap on title is a separate section so you tap on the title and that's going to give you the title but it opens up in this particular view and you can just start getting your notes directly into your Evernote 
So that's the first way. However, Evernote has a few little secrets. If you actually hold the plus button down, like, okay, it's taking a, a, so if you hold the plus button down, on the left hand side, you can see you've got a microphone and that will mean that you can take a voice note. At the top, you've got a uh, an image icon, which means you can just add an image and the right hand side gives you a reminder so let's just have a look at that you can click on that and i can set a reminder and it will give you the options at the bottom to pick a date and time if you want to set up a reminder so those are just a couple of things and it's really really fast and that's what i really like about the way evernote works these days the mobile app is fantastic you can capture notes really quickly you can use voice notes you can add images directly like for example if you were in a car park you open up that and you can take a picture of I can take a picture of my computer there you go you see a picture of my laptop as I'm recording this there are so many things that you can do when you set up that so one of the best things is if you're parking in a very big car park you take a picture of the post or the local something physical don't take a picture of a car because the cars move but take a physical area and you will be able to see your you know come back and find your car so there are so many wonderful things you can do with Evernote and this is one of the reasons why I would always always recommend Evernote to anybody using the particular application so there you go how we capture things on I'm already going to capture that <laughs> that's how we capture uh, notes on our mobile devices it's a fantastic tool and one that I strongly recommend you have a play around with well that just remains for me now to thank you very much for watching this second episode of my beginner's guide to Todoist it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week thank you for watching this video if you liked what you saw and you would like to learn more about becoming better organized and more productive, then get yourself enrolled in my free beginner's guide to building your own productivity system. And if you'd like to learn more about how I can help you, then visit my website at carlpauline.com. All the details are in the show notes below.